and welcome back to my channel. Hope we've all had a fabulous week. A few times people have sort of asked us to rate our own food. We're so used to rating other countries' foods and a few times people have said to us about rating Northern Irish goodies. Yeah. So it's kind of hard because Northern Ireland being part of the UK, we have a sort of a lot of foods that are like you can get in the whole of the UK. But there are some Northern Irish specific foods. So we thought we would bring you all the classics and let you know well, our some of, them. some of the classics. Some of them. Let you know our little guide to Northern Irish food. So yeah, let's just get into the video. Okay guys, so first up we're gonna go in with the classic Northern Irish bread goods. We are known for our bread goods. We love potatoes. Yeah. And if we can put those in bread, we'll freaking do that. We could not do a Northern Irish video if we did not include soda bread and potato bread. Yeah. These are the best damn thing to come out of Northern Ireland. Well, second potato crisps. You're the best thing to put in the world. Oh, crazy! I'm gonna just quickly toast these and then we'll give you a little um, verdict on what we think of them. I have said to Craig, we'll try not be like, what's the word? Like, we're used to this food, so we'll try not be like, oh, this is the best thing ever. And we will be very fair. Well, I'm only a blue in. Yeah, Craig's yeah. not arisen from here, as we'd find out in our, left, our last video. Yes, we're gonna toast these, get some butter on them, and then we eat them. Okay, Somebody guys. So we're back from toasting our potato and soda bread. We'll go in with the potato first because it's my favourite. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah. Mm. It's like potato, it sounds to move, but it's like potato and bread blended together. And it probably sounds horrible if you're not from here, but it's the best. Is that not the best thing, Paul? Maybe it is. How do you describe it? Because it's not a bread texture either. It's like bouncy bread. Yeah, well, it is like bouncy bread. This is what we normally have in our fry here with soda bread. Our fry is heavily loaded with bread. bread. It's all bread. We love a carb. You go to a cafe here and get one egg and then 16 bread. different bits of bread. Well, no, you get soda bread, potato bread and a pancake. No, I'm trying not to be like, read it really high, but potato bread for me is like the thing. Yeah, it's really good. I'd give it like a solid nine. I'd give it a solid nine. Oh, also because there's like nothing out there that's kind of like it. No. I'd always put it in a fry too. Not that I make fries very often. No. But as a British slash Irish fry, mixing all the things together, you definitely have potato bread in it. Yeah. Um, so are you ready at nine? Yeah. Two nines for the potato bread. Next up is soda. And it's slightly different. I do not know how to describe these breads. It's kind of like, it's like flaky. Mm. Do you get what I mean? Mm. It's thick. There's also powder on the bottom. I don't know how to describe this. Like it's nice, but why is it nice? Okay, so what do you rate soda bread? Like seven. Yeah, like I say seven as well. I could leave soda bread, but I couldn't leave potato bread. Yeah, true. yeah so it's like you get these things in here called filled sodas, and they basically are like instead of a bap, you have like bacon in between your soda. Yeah. So good. So yeah, the bread is something that we are definitely known for. But let's go into... What are we doing next? Buns! I didn't actually know these were Northern Irish until like, I think it was my brother said to me. Because um, he lives over in London and some things you can't get over there that you get here. These are called 15s. And I'll look up, sure. if you don't know what a 15 is, the only way I can describe it is like some old lady had this great idea that she didn't know what to do with her extra ingredients. So she put it together and made a bun. Yeah, it's called 15 because it has 15 of every ingredient. I don't know if yeah, that means 15, so 15. Not grams, but no mean. So it is just literally. Do you want that one since it's not got much uh, yeah, okay. cherry? So it's like, well, this one doesn't have a cherry. Yeah, actually, I'll show this one. So it's a bun like this, and it probably doesn't even come up on camera, but it's kind of like weird consistency, like doughy consistency. It's like decimated cookie. It's like cookie dough consistency. Cookie dough, that's what I'm And it's got saying. marshmallow, glass of cherries, bits of biscuit, and it's covered in coconut, but it's really soft. It's a very strange thing. But they're so good. Mm. It's hard to, I don't know, it's hard to describe it. It's kind of gooey and wet. It is like cookie dough. Mm. The you recipe that? calls for 15 of each ingredient, hence the name. And it's composed of digestive biscuit, marshmallows, condensed milk, and desiccated coconut. So yeah, these are basically 
a sweet popular treat in Northern Ireland that are a bit random, but I love them. There's nothing else out there like them. Mm. What would you rate those? A 10. Would you? Well, I would say like seven, like Okay, wait, wait, wait. You can get really bad ones. No, they're they're not too bad, those ones. No, they're ones are good. I'm going to say nine, actually. Okay. Texture, taste. Next up, we're going to have ice cream for ice cream. We're going to have ice cream, basically. Cool. But let me, story time, sorry. God, this is so boring. And I'm just quickly testing. <laughs> so Morelli's, if you've ever visited, especially our local area, this is a very well-known... We're not doing this for Morelli's, though. No, this is a very well-known brand, flavor. and they are the oldest Irish people that sell ice cream. Does that make sense? <laughs> people, oh my... They're Italian. They're, no, but they're... they set up in Ireland. They're, yes. We think they're the... It's the, oldest, it's the oldest Irish ice cream, basically. I think so, I don't know. But I'm putting this in the video because honeycomb is a very specific Northern Irish thing. I think you can get it obviously in the UK, but it's harder to get. But we actually have a brand here called Mods. We couldn't actually get it because they're closed at the minute. And they do honeycomb ice cream that is like it originated in Northern Ireland and it is. Ugh. But honeycomb is something that's readily available here for some reason. Yeah, and it's harder to get. It's a flavour you always find in ice cream. Oh, that come off pretty well. So let's dig in. I haven't had Morelli's ice cream in years. If you don't know, honeycomb is my favourite thing. Look at honeycomb. It's freezing cold and it's snowing outside. Yeah, I'm really nice cream. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, my teeth are so sensitive. Well, well, that's not ice cream for me. Yeah, see. The thing is, though, we did try for the video to get oh. um, Yellow Man, which is like honeycomb. It's very popular here and you'd get it in like little market stalls and etc. But it's kind of the wrong time of year because we. That would be something you'd get near somewhere. What do you rate it? Five. I Sorry. rate it. I um, rate it eleven. No, because of honeycomb and I love it, but that ice cream, if it was mods, it would be obviously a ten. So I'm gonna say about an eight. If it was mods, then it would be like a seven for me. But I'm just not an ice cream fan. Okay, next we have hunky dory crisps. These ones are buffalo flavour. Now I think these are actually made down south as well as in Northern Ireland. But I never see these anywhere else. Have you seen these anywhere else? Um, I didn't actually know they were specific to here, but that's just because I've always lived here, so... Yeah, so I never. I remember these being in school. And when I first went to high school here, we had crisps in the vending machine. which at the time blew my mind. And this was the only brand you could get. And it was only this flavour, I think, as well. Yeah. I was going to say, like, we do do crisps well, but that's because we're the, the potato nation. Oh. Amazing. What would you rate these? I used to love these back in the day. Just put them in your blazer pocket and then sneak, sneak and eat them in the back of class. You know the way we're like, in other videos we eat other crisps from around the world? It's funny when you actually have our crisps and you actually sit and think like when you're eating them. Our crisps are so freaking good. Yeah. They're really flavoursome. They're also rich though too. Yeah, no they're really good. Help. Um, mm. I'm gonna rate those a nine. Yeah. Just for like even this even the. the I seven. never buy these. But I really like. Them. I need to buy them again. Yeah, sugar. So I just think that's. Yeah, because I'm a nine as well. Okay, guys. Up next we have a drink, and these take me back to my childhood here I because Northern Ireland is still very. Is that? Nice? I don't want to say backwards, but like old fashioned, definitely. So we still have a lemonade man that goes around and delivers these to your door. The main man? The main man. Kind of like a milk man. Um, but he delivers these to your door. And we used to get these as kids. And this is pineapple flavour. And I remember you coming to my house when I first met you and you'd be like, what the heck is that? So these It blew are... my mind you could get lemonade delivered to your house. <laughs> Unbelievable. Sorry. What's so kiddish? It's not too bad though. Though it's not overly sugary. It's a nice mm. pineapple too. These remind me of Panda Pops, if anyone from England watching. The same size and everything. used to get them in Woolworths, I think, and any like corner shop. Yeah, it's not super, super sweet like kids' yeah. drinks would be. Can you get that in England? No. 
it was his own here. It's um, here. But it's the same kind of vibe as Panther Pops, which also don't actually exist anymore. So it's yeah, all jar, really. It's very uh, nostalgic, but I mean, if we're going to have a drink that represented this country, and also be Guinness, not the, this. Yeah, Guinness, yeah. yeah. Oh, why do we not get Guinness? That's, not, that's Southern Irish. Yeah. We need harp. But yeah, also I just want to say about the front of it, you can see the design hasn't changed probably in about 20 years. No. <laughs> it's so old school. It's like so nostalgic. I think that's why when I look at it, I literally just think of like my childhood. Um, how do you read it? I don't know. I think I used to prefer it more than I do now. Yeah, it's very kiddish, I feel. Oh, excuse me. Um. I think six. Yeah, six is fair. Okay, next we have Vida. That's... I know, guys. Another, another a bit very good to come out of. Uh, I'm sorry, another bread good to come out of. Uh, basically, it is just like a milk loaf, and I think in the UK, you guys get we have it too. It's soaring, and everyone thinks it's the same thing, but it's not the same. So this is like I don't really know how to well, describe I it. it's the same. No, Which is why I've avoided Vida my whole life. It's I guess soaring's more gooey and obviously has raisins, so it's more like a fruit loaf. Or this is just a milk loaf. So this is the this is like a fruit loaf without any fruit in it. Yes. Why am I like this? And um, so the tradition is to have this. Well, for my family tradition oh, was to literally have this toasted, some butter, and well, you can just have it with the some taste, butter. You can smell it through the plastic. Um, and it's so yummy. But my way of doing it is some banana on top. Banana on Vida is, girl. You ain't trying to do uh, No. Back with our toasted, um, Vida. Vida. What is it? I send a crowd my. My little cousin actually calls this chocolate bread, but it's not chocolate bread. Why do you find that so funny? That's it there. It does look like just chocolate bread. Mm. I can't sound like the smell of this. You need banana on it, but. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. That's not horrible. No, I imagine it was like jam or something sweet, do you get why we had the yeah. sweetness? See, I always thought this was like soaring and fruit loops. So I just looked at it, I was like, I'm not eating that. It doesn't taste as good as it smells. I think also dad, I always, my dad used to do cheese on it. Yeah, cheese would be good on that. Mm. You know what it's like, it's like, it's like really intense brown bread. Does that make sense? It's like nothing I can compare it to though. No, I don't think so. I'm blown away. I always thought I'd hate this. I told you. Well, there you go. How do you read it? I rate it seven because I'm so pleasantly surprised when I like it. It's also like the consistency of our bread. It's always good and thick. Good and thick, mate. Isn't it though? Mm. I would say, for me, Vida has to be a nine. I'm sorry. Just have a good bit of Vida. No, so it's too thick. What? Because of Northern Irish house, old school Northern Irish housewives. Do you want some more potatoes? Not even enough. I have some more. No, I'm fine. Have some more. Have some more. <laughs> yeah. Take your bum. Yeah. 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 You're a good eater. Here's a bucket of potatoes. <laughs> potatoes, 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 potatoes. Anyway. I thought it's a bad thing. Um, yeah, Vida. Gotta try it. Okay, guys. Next up, we're pulling out another crisp. These are called bikers and they're from the brand you might recognize because everyone talks about them over here are tato mm -hmm. um we will get on to the classics later are these not like big kids these are like yes like right up on nice they're like kind of like monster munch aren't they are they yeah. so they are spicy flavored i'm just gonna say i don't call it spicy flavor, but okay and they're just like bike wheels are they spicy they do taste like the beef monster munch with like a hint of tomato. Yeah. It's like beef monster munch, but like sweeter. And they're kind of like corn puffed crisps. That's what monster munch are. Oh, yeah. You always like a potato down south, don't you? Mm -hmm. But their branding's different. Their potato man doesn't look as good as ours. I always write those. I quite like it. I'm going to say eat. Nothing wrong with them, but they're just a kid crisp. I would say, I just gotta say seven, because Monster Munch are like a nine, and they're not quite as good as Monster Munch. For flavour wise and all though, I thought yeah. they were good. Um, so yeah, eight. There you go. Eight. Eight for a wee corn snack. Say, say, say the rating. Eight. 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 Northern Irish. Not Northern Irish. Eight. What's the best eight. one? Mirror. Mirror. 
Yeah, a reflective service you look at yourself in is a mirror. Don't mirror. Nicola, it's mirror. Next up, we're going in with a Deal Farm classic. Do you know who Deal Farm Sucker. are? They are specific to Northern Ireland. They're dairy, aren't they? Yes. But they do orange juice. They do ice lollies, and I wanted to get them for this, but I mean, okay. Oh. You know, like the Damn it. Joys, perfect. I forgot about all those. They're like oh, our, they're the video's like, ruined. They're like our classics, but oh, yes. Right. Anyway, they do yeah, this. Um, just drink. What is it like? Orange. It's an fruit orange juice? fruit drink, so it's not really orange juice. The first oh, ingredient's nice. water, and then it's sugar, and then it's orange juice and concentrate. Do you know how much orange juice there is in this? What? How much percentage? How much? What percentage of orange juice is in this? Yeah, it's only twenty. You you wish it was twenty. It's I... one point one percent <sighs> orange. Oh, but it's lovely. I like it. It tastes very artificial. Yeah, it kind of does though. It's artificial, but it doesn't have that like sticky feeling that artificial drinks give you. Yeah. I don't mind it. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Um, yeah, as drinks go, it's not something that me and Craig yeah, They actually like normally it. come in little cartons and there's an apple. Apple black crumb one or something else? Yeah, yeah. But this, you only see this here. You won't yeah, get this yeah, anywhere yeah. else. What do you read it? Uh, two. Oh, honey! Oh, honey! Yeah, I'll get three then. I'm being a bit harsh. Three. I'm gonna say a four. What the? Sorry! <laughs> All that, and then you go, that's too harsh, I'll give it four. The next up is Jammy Jewies. And these don't take you back to school days. I don't know what does. I didn't know what these were until a few years ago either. And yeah. I've been here so long. So, Jammy Joey's Madeira buns rolled in raspberry flavoured jelly and desinated, de a little desinated coconut. Oh, I love these little boys. These are good. So they just kind of look like this. Just kind of like little cakes. Little Madeira. So there's like jam, no, is there jam in them? Mm-hmm. So it's like a plain cake, but with jam around it and in it. No, there's no jam in it. It's oh. a plain inside. I thought there was. Oh no, it's on the outside. They're so good though. Mm -hmm. Why are they so nice? Well, I don't know. Flavour around the outside is very intense. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of it, so it kind of kind of it's like nicely balanced. Like you nice think balanced meat. You'd think you need something on the inside, but you don't. Yeah, they're great. God, I have those are so long. Nice. So, Lola, I haven't had those in so long. I think I only had them once before. And that was whenever you were like, you haven't had jammy joys? Or do you rate the jammy joys? I'm going to say, fun texture, taste, yumminess, nine for me. I'm going to give those. You know what about your dad? No, do no, 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 no. it, do it. You know nah, don't, nah, mine. You I'm about to give a ten. <laughs> We've saved the best thing for last. The best thing. Everyone knows what this will be. To come out of this country. Da, da, da. Tato. Cheese, cheese and, onion. and onion crisps. And whenever I say you will never get a cheese and onion crisp like it, you will never get a cheese and onion crisp like it. So also <laughs> the other thing, if you live in Northern Ireland, you're conditioned to think yellow means cheese and onion. Whereas if you yeah. live in England, cheese and onion is normally blue because of walkers. And sometimes green, but not here, it's yellow. Another fun fact, you can actually go and visit the Tato factory where the crisps are made. If that doesn't want to bring you to this country, I don't know what will. Yeah, but Tato crisps are just so good. They're really, really intensely flavoured. Oh, no, no. There's and nothing like them. There's like. nothing like that. See that cheese and onion taste on these? And they're so plain. Um, and, like, they're so unassuming, but god, they're good. But you're also not Northern Irish unless you use these for your crisp sandwich. This is a very yeah. Northern Irish tradition. Oh my god. These and crisps with a little bit of salad cream. Thank me later. Salad cream? Yeah. Really? Yeah. sister. Has a non-original Northern Irish boy. Are they the best crisps? No. Yeah. Oh, great. I'm glad you like them as much as me. Do you know what it is? Think of that cheese and onion taste and then think of walkers. It's completely different. Walkers can just go. But yeah, they're great. As you can tell, I would rate these nine. You only oh, wow. No. <laughs> I don't know why, I misspoke. Spot that again. What? What is I? Huh? Why did I so good. Why did I say nine? As you can tell, I wrote these ten. Why did I say nine? So Craig's written them ten. Yeah, eventually. And it's no secret, these are my ten. 
Yeah, we are going to do our top three, just in our opinion of what our favourite snacks are from this. And in third place, I think I would rate the classic, I don't really want to hold these up because they're open, 15s, the bun, the bun that we say is like the gooey consistency with the marshmallows and the cherries. They're just, I don't know, there's just something about them. Yeah. You always get them in a wee coffee shop with a wee cup of coffee and they're just lovely. A coffee shop with a cup of coffee, you know. And then, honey, <laughs> second spot is, sorry, I've actually wrapped this since it, the wee opened it. The potato bread, I think that is one of the greatest things to come out of our country. It's no surprise, my number one spot has to go to the classic potato cheese and onion crisps. I just cannot be beating them in yeah. my opinion. Um, Craigie, your top three? Uh, mine would actually be the jammy Joey's would be third. They are so good, actually. The and then it would be potato bread. Yay! Potato bread! And then, obviously, the best crisps in the planet. Hopefully it gives you a little insight into the lovely food we have here. And if you're ever over, please try some of it and let us know what you thought of it. But yeah, that's going to go ahead and conclude today's video. Please give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I would obviously love you forever and really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. Yeah. Um, we will catch you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your week. Sending love and positivity. 